Hey everybody, this is a video about why someone would do coaching. So why someone would do, say a month, three, six months, a year of online coaching and what the uh, results have been with some of my students, some of the students of people in, um, in the Kellen Mia Hira environment. And uh, yeah, like, you know, why not just do it on your own? Why not just dig it out of the dirt? Read some articles, um, you know, whatever you can do, you know, look at videos, uh, study, um, you know, do it all on your own. That's what I did for, I don't know, a year and a half or so. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I just, I just, you know, never, I spoke to Calvin maybe once and I just, I just tried to do it on my own. You know, I tried to go to the range and do some low doses, do some lateral bend get a, you know, a better backswing, um, you know, swing faster, and, uh, yeah, that was my, that was what happened with me, I, um, I did all that, and then eventually I just went and saw Kelvin, I went there for a month, and I learned more in that month than the previous year and a half of reading his articles ten times each, uh, all, all the time, and even even talking with his students and talking with Victor and uh, and other guys, you know, messaging guys like Lucas, messaging different guys that um, you know he said were were uh, certified under his teaching methods, and and they were certified instructors under him. So I went to make the membership site with Gabe MTI, and um, and then also to train with, with Kelvin because I um, I was full in. I was I was I. Dove in, I said, I want to be you, Kelvin. I want to help people with their swings just like you do. And in the process, help mine because mine uh, was garbage. So, uh, so yeah, that's really that's really where things kicked off because when you see a, a teacher teach day in and day out for a month, you start to think like they think and see what they see and feel what they feel. And um, that was the most valuable thing because uh, he's got 30 years of experience. And the people that he learned from all had 30, 40 years of experience. And uh, Kelvin's been to some of the best, uh, best teachers around until he saw his, um, he saw the patterns that he saw, and then started doing research as a curious golf coach, you know, looking for different patterns that no one's maybe ever seen. So that's how he came up with his research. And um, yeah, so so I guess that's really the start. And so once I realized after I was there for a month. I had a lot of balls, I made a lot of practice swings, I did mirror work, I did slow motion work, I did fast motion work, I did um, all the different drills, the freeze drill, the monkey drill, the, um, uh, the what's it, greasing the groove, the pump drill, um, I did all the drills because we focused on something different every week. And uh, yeah, it was just, it was intense, it was, um, there was a lot of stuff to, to feel and think and different positions to get in and uh, yeah, and so and so, what's crazy, and what I appreciated was actually having Kelvin there all the time to bounce ideas off of, and Gabe, and then I was messaging other people, and that is where the bread and butter of of getting to know something is having an expert, having someone who is better than you, um, and having them so close at hand that you can ask them questions. And you can get rid of the mental clutter of, say, garbage that you're thinking about the swing or different philosophies or theories you have. Oh, shouldn't you be getting way to your left side and then you have to square the club face by doing this? You know, and you've got to time it perfectly and that's the only way you can ever hit it good. And then you've got to work hours, continuous hours, and hit so many balls so you can time this. And you've got to get to your left side. If, you, if someone has those crazy theories in their head, <laughs> They're going to move towards them, no matter how good they are. Look at some of the best players in the world that have gotten um, less than optimal instruction and it's torn their games down. So, if you, if you have um, your thoughts right, uh, or your thoughts act more accurate, more optimal, and you understand, you can visualize and see and feel what needs to happen, and then you've got someone there to say, look, you just you know, filmed your swing and you tried to do this, but you did that. You know, here's what you really need to feel. So 
having that, I know how valuable it is. And that's what I've been giving to my students. So I'll send them Facebook videos of me dancing around. Say, hey, look, man, you're, you know, you're here in the backswing, and then you're here, and you want to be more here, you know, with, I'll say, you got to get, you got to spread this out a little more. You've got to hike your hip. you got to get your scaps in a better position and feel that. Feel what it feels like. And then feel the, the fascial uh, tension in the right areas so that when you've got that, you can fire the other direction. And they're like, oh, I've never felt that ever before. I didn't even know what fascia was. I wondered, I thought I needed to feel really loose in the backswing or whatever, the, whatever it is. And so that's where the value is. That's why I found it for my personal learning and getting better. And then also understanding I've got, we've got 25 or 30 people on a private Kelvin Media Here certified instructor Facebook group. We're always talking and challenging each other and uh, the, you know, testing theories and putting our students on and helping each other and um, celebrating successes of swing changes and different things and uh, looking at different swing theories and dissecting them anatomically and for, for playing path and uh, closure rates and different things. So we're always learning. And that has been the most valuable thing for me so far. Uh, I've read probably a thousand golf books. Okay, between Golf Digest and everything I could find in my school library, chapters, Barnes and Noble, everything. I've read everything, literally. I might not remember it all, but I got some patterns from every book that I read. And who cares about that? Like, um, you know, whatever. I was just obsessed with knowledge. That's kind of one of my things. And, um, and I knew that if I wanted to get better at golf, I needed to know a lot of stuff because I didn't have a, have a naturally good swing. I wasn't naturally very talented. So... That was for me, and then, you know, it's cool as I get to take that to the golf world now, and um, I'm still just a baby in the golf world, but I have learned a ton. And, uh, yeah, so, so with, uh, with people that are wanting to do a month, three months, six months, a year of coaching, um, I encourage you to pick an instructor, get somebody. Uh, you know, if it's, if it's Kelvin, you know, Kelvin will do, do things, um, you know, Lucas Wald's doing things, um, Victor's doing things, I'm doing things, pick somebody and figure out how you can, uh, how you can do this and make these changes because it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. There's things that you can do quickly for some people, uh, for other people it takes longer and there's things you can do quickly for a lot of people but huge macro movements and body movements and combining it with a better release that's on a good plane and path. Uh, that can, you know, that can take some time putting it all together, just depending on where the student's at, the golfer is at. And, um, but yeah, that's, that's where the value is, is having someone there, you know, if you go, it's like if you're flying to Hawaii and you're off course, you know, because you punched in where you want to go in the coordinates, you're going to get bounced over. The plane, I think, self-auto-corrects. They've got things on autopilot. So I'm going to help you go on autopilot because I'm doing all the mental you know, brain racking thinking and, and putting the pieces of the puzzle together. And uh, so if you'd like to, um, if you'd like to do something like that, let me know. Uh, I'm available. I'm always online. I'm always chatting with my students. I'm always sending them videos, sending them YouTube private videos, swing analysis on my computer, drawing lines, doing everything. Um, sending them personal videos, going on Skype, calls, uh, you know, texting, whatever it is. And um, they like it, you know. My students that like that, they, they really like it. I've, I've gotten the most incredible feedback uh, and it, it juices me, it makes me happy because I want people to get out of pain and hit the ball better and feel a better swing, feel a better contact and play better and shoot better and make more money and you know move up the tour rank wherever tour they're on or whatever it is. So, or if they're an amateur and they haven't broke 100. I, I, I worked with some guys just to help them break 100 and that was satisfying because they're like, you know, double digits, right? Uh, so it's just exciting. It's also a fun game, and um, it can be uh, it can be fun for a lot of people if there's progress and there's good feelings. If someone's flipping and dipping and they're hitting the ground, they don't never want to play again. You know, I've given lessons to people that uh, that they say I don't want to hit the ground. So so what they do is they jump up and they flip at it instead of doing what's proper. And um, it. It's almost like if someone starts off without a general idea, they don't have these good athletic patterns and kind of understand the save release. If someone doesn't have that, 
they can go down the rabbit hole of garbage because the more they flip, the more they're going to maybe stand up and extend away and get the you know, right arm extended and because um, pain sucks. We want to avoid pain. But if you do the right thing to get the right kind of pleasure in hitting the ball solidly with a low rate of closure and a low rate of flip and good body rotation, you become hooked forever. So that's what I experience. That's what people tell me. It's just the way it is. Um, you get hooked because it feels better. It feels really good. And, uh, and that's what's exciting to share. So if you want some coaching, let me know. Um, uh, yeah, just email me, message me here on YouTube, uh, you know, whatever email, gordonwilliamdrivers at gmail.com. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You know, that's, that's kind of the, that's the nuts and bolts of why, why long-term coaching can work. And um, especially online. And then uh, in person, you know, as well, uh, I'm traveling quite a bit, but just let me know where you're at, what you want to do, if you'd like to do anything at all, and I will uh, be there to serve you and help you get where you want to go. And if it's with putting, or if it's with your mental game, or if it's with your body, uh, that's great too, because um, often people have something in their life, or in the way they move, or I've been sitting like a, like a gorilla here, but, or in the way that they hold themselves, or... Um, uh, maybe they have a bad story or they have bad states when it comes to golf. They get frustrated in the golf course. They get frustrated in their life. So they have mental blocks that allow them not to maybe get you know, physical results. So sometimes that can happen. Um, or they have a story like, um, you know, I'm too old. Or I'm too this or I'm too that or I'm not here or I'm not there. you got to figure out your story and your states that you consistently go to and then your strategy. And you can make progress. So um, if you want to help with any of that stuff. That is what I'm here for, and I would enjoy um, helping you if you have some place you want to go. I can help you get there. So thanks for listening. Hit me up if you want, and uh, we will talk to you and hopefully see you and meet with you, greet with you later. Ciao.